Teresa Jude, I said we could ask her anything. There was no question off limits. This is the first time that she and the girls have seen Joe outside of prison walls in over three years. We talked about Joe's future and if there's a future for the two of them. Teresa Judice is the vibrant, outspoken, here, and as real as you get, real housewife of New Jersey, who made her mark 10 years ago with this. When I first started the show, mm -hmm. they, they said, what do you see yourself five years from now? Never did I expect mm -hmm. myself being in legal problems and going to, going to jail. Yeah. Like never in a million years. Judai spent almost a year in federal prison for multiple counts of fraud, while husband Joe served more than three years for mail, wire, and bankruptcy fraud. Now out of prison, Joe, who is not a U.S. citizen, is living in Italy while he awaits the ruling on his deportation appeal. Mm -hmm. Teresa sitting down with us just days after visiting him. Just go back to Italy. You get off the plane. Tell me about what happens next. I was so overjoyed seeing my daughters, how happy they were, seeing their dad. This trip was like all about focusing on our daughters. Mm -hmm. It's like it really wasn't about us. Do you still feel anything for him? There's always going to be a place in my heart for Joe. I'm, I'm always going to love him, no matter what. Even together or separate? Always, yes. Rumors of infidelity, making headlines, and plaguing their marriage. Can you say without a doubt that you have been completely faithful to Joe? Yes. Throughout the marriage and even in incarceration, everything? Yes. You don't believe he's been faithful to you? I mean... How are you able to move past that, though? Because that can be a deal breaker for a lot of marriages. Well, because I never caught him. Mm -hmm. Like, I never caught him, so it was like hearsay. Are you planning on filing for divorce? No. Do you see a future with him? I don't know. Because imagine <laughs> you lived in Italy and you lived here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's like a feasible relationship. Do you think that you could find happiness and love again with Joe? To be determined. So you haven't ruled it out? We're taking it day by day. Do you feel like you could love again and give your heart to somebody again? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm young, at, you know, still young. If it does go that path, I want the same for Joe. You'd be okay seeing him happy with another woman? Of course, if that's the path we choose, mm -hmm. yes. Do you think he would be happy seeing you with another man? We only really want the best mm -hmm. for each other. We really do. Even and like, see, I'll start crying, like, just, like, cause we both do. Mm -hmm. And like that, I kept crying on the trip cause, cause of that. Do you need to go back to Italy and just the two of you spend some time together? I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. For now, her daughters are her priority. You must take a great amount of pride seeing your four daughters grow into strong, independent women. You know, as a mom, you don't know if you're doing a good job, but when you see your children and how they are and how they present themselves and how they speak, then you're like, wow, I did do something right. But how tough is that for Joe to miss so many milestones in his daughter's life? I'm lives? sure that's something, you know, a guilt that he has to live with every day. I do want happiness again. I want Joe to be happy. I want my, you know, my daughters, they are happy. Looking ahead, it's all about, as she says, namaste and standing strong. You've probably learned a ton about yourself the last three years and eight months. Yeah, I've learned, I've had, I have powers that I never knew I had. Like what? I'm unbreakable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm unbreakable. Yeah, she seems ready to move on, though. She's more mm -hmm. concerned about her four children at this time. But at this point, Joe's awaiting his final deportation hearing. If denied, he's going to permanently be deported to Italy, which is going to be tough. He's going to be separated from his four girls. She said that he was weeping when he had to say goodbye to them. I'm, I'm pretty sure a tough situation on the really family. Really tough, yep. All right, great job, Paula. Thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.